let's talk a little bit about the Global Assembly then that we will have this year. And I know the theme for the year is fostering trust and open communications. Um, it's happening very soon. So June 1st is the date um, from 10.30 to 3.30. It's national this year. We've turned it into a national program. During the program, we have three speakers who will be speaking on transformational leadership under that theme. Mm -hmm. And we also have our global awards. So we have awards for our Global Women Peace Ambassadors and also our Global Partner Awards for the organisations that work with us in the realisation of the Sustainable Development Goals. And for that one, particularly goal number 17, which is partnerships for the goals, working together for that, which is uh, actually, uh, I guess, a, a core principle of what Women's Federation is all about uh, in working with ECOSOC, the Economic and Social Council of the UN, in achieving those goals. And Women's Federation has general consultative status internationally with ECOSOC. So for us, it's pretty important. We work towards those goals. And of course, we can't realise all of them. So we focus on separate, separate ones for different projects. I have to say that I've been in the last at least two from memory. And it is also one of my favourite events of the year. The, the energy in the room, the, the speakers, when you talk about the, the women's fed and the networks that we develop there, such an amazing and powerful uh, day for those yeah. that participate. So I'm really looking forward to, to being there with you and the other speakers. And I'm oh, very happy to hear that this year we are going national. Can't wait to see everyone there. I hope, I hope the message gets out that it is. And another thing is we're community-based. We're not trying to take money from people. It is very, very cost-effective. Uh, we just cover costs, basically. And uh, our speakers do this pro bono. And our volunteers, of course, are doing this pro bono for the betterment of all especially for our emerging women leaders who we need to foster and care for because we need more women leaders out there and women who feel confident that they can be who they are as women and not have to compete with men to, to be a leader um, because women automatically have these soft power skills in the forefront and to acknowledge that and see that and work along with our men using those soft power skills is in itself really powerful. So we've always said the true way of leadership is when a man and a woman are working together in equal position and equal authority. So just imagine if all these organisations around the world had a male and female CEO and principals at schools were male and female and they had to talk to each other and things would be very different. That's very radical. I, I, I believe money. It's slowly, it's slowly things are changing. Uh, I've worked in different organisations and I've seen the change and I'm sure uh, well, uh, Women's Pad is doing an amazing job because I'm part of it as well. I can tell from experience now that we we are slowly and steady building upon each other, each other's strengths and supporting women to, to become more, uh, you know, powerful uh, in their own authentic ways as leaders uh, compared to, to their peers, no matter uh, how they identify in this day and age, right? So it's just beautiful. It's wonderful. And I think that's part of the spirit of the GWPN assembly, that that goodness and purity and beauty comes 
and the fundamental philosophy of living for the sake of others, which is the philosophy of Women's Federation that our founders, Mother and Mother Moon, have brought to the organisation. And so that is alive at the GWPN Assembly. 